so excited to be part of an incredible group of trailblazing women right now, right here in this moment, and uh, the amazing work we're all doing collaboratively. But I also would like to thank um, our county executive, Mark Polencars, for his generous work in securing the $250,000 we received through the legislature as our seed money for this project. And he, of course, is dedicated to public art. So thank you. We always think with a seventh generation principle. Everything we say and do has an impact seven generations out. So with that, I took the information to the Seneca Nation Council and they all agreed and concurred that it should be Geraldine Sitta Green, a former faith keeper of the Newtown Longhouse out in the Cattaraugus Territory. Geraldine Sitta Green was a woman that we hold with respect in the highest regard. She was a very devoted educator of our Haudenosaunee, people of the Longhouse traditions. She shared her knowledge throughout our region, not only on the territory, but nationally and internationally. We feel it is so fitting and appropriate that she be honored as a trail busying woman of Western New York. But I have to reflect a little bit about women and diversity and inclusion. I use the word engagement a lot in my leadership. Um, engagement and inclusion. Uh, it's really important to create an environment where people bring their ideas forward and feel like they're part of the solution. Uh, but set all that aside about being the right thing to do, the studies all show it's the most profitable thing to do. Right? I mean, if you look at study after study after study, it's the companies who are willing to have diversity and inclusion at the very top that end up being the most profitable. So I think the U.S. is lagging behind some other countries who are um, asking boards of directors to be more inclusive, but I have great hope. And I have great hope because of the people who came before us. Because I'm gonna tell you, my life is a lot better because of the trailblazers that came before me. And I hope that I'm making life a lot better for the kids that are just growing up now.